guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, I would like to give you guys five quick tips of how to stick to your diet during social events. Now, keep in mind, you can do what you wanna do. <laughs> you can just not even worry about the diet, throw the whole thing out of the window, that's your choice, but I'm just sharing with you guys what I've been doing during this holiday season because for me, I've thrown the diet out the window for years, so this year I've been trying something different. So tip number one, focus on all the yummy things that you can eat versus those things that you can't. For me, my diet basically consists of I don't eat sugar or flour, but that leaves an entire array of different foods that I can partake in. Lots of yummy vegetables, nice sources of protein, even french fries. So my tip for you is to focus on what you can eat versus those things that you can't. Number two, if given the choice, choose the restaurant, the venue, or even host the event. This is a way that you can ensure that there will definitely be foods that you can eat and that you will enjoy. Number three, plan ahead. If you know the host relatively well, feel free to reach out and possibly see if there's anything that you can contribute, if there's anything that you can bring or have delivered, so that way you know you have something that you can enjoy as well. Or maybe the host will even be able or willing to accommodate you as long as they know like in advance with plenty of time um, to make those accommodations. Or if the event's been held at a restaurant, feel free to go online, check out the menu. Um, if you need to, reach out to the restaurant, reach out to the wait staff, find out if they're able to make any modifications in order to accommodate you know, your dietary restrictions or limitations. And just in my opinion, these both are such better options versus you just showing up and complaining the entire time about things that you can't eat because nobody cares. <laughs> no one cares. And not only do people not care, but then the host feels some type of way. And like if it were me, I would feel like I need to now accommodate you when you could have just reached out to me before. So don't do that. Like don't be that person, you know? So reach out ahead of time. Make a plan, plan ahead, reach out ahead of time. Number four, focus on the occasion itself. You know, like obviously whatever you're celebrating, is it a birthday? Is it friends that you're getting together with that you haven't seen in a long time? Is it a promotion? Um, is it a holiday? Like obviously it was great enough to celebrate to bring a gathering of people together. So maybe if you just focus all of your attention on all of your energy there versus the things that you're not able to eat, I think it would be a little bit more enjoyable for you five my final tip for you is to calculate the risk perhaps you decide that you're just gonna go balls to the wall that's okay you know just know the trade-off that you're making perhaps you can have lighter meals for your other meals that day perhaps you can partake in intermittent fasting perhaps you can increase your caloric burn a little bit more or just do the thing like just fully enjoy yourself and then the next day or the next meal just jump right back on track but just completely understand that there will be a trade-off in that so that you don't leave the event feeling guilty or wake up the next day feeling guilty because no one has time for guilt like don't shame yourself if you're going to enjoy the meal fully enjoy it right i mean we're all adults we know what we're doing so don't shame yourself and also don't feel a need to over explain why you're eating what you're eating why you don't eat what you don't eat just either eat or don't eat keep it simple like no one cares no one or even if they do they don't want to hear it take it from me <laughs> All right guys, I hope that you found these five tips to be helpful and I also hope that you're enjoying your holiday season. And remember, the choice is yours. Calculate the trade-off, but most importantly, enjoy the people around you, celebrate the occasion, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!